right? I was sick. I was so sick that I was on the train. I was texting the organizer that I didn't know if I was able to get there. I just didn't know, like, once I'd get off the train, if I was able to walk from the train platform to the bus stop and get from the bus to, to the actual venue. And then she told me that it was going to be up three flights of narrow steep stairs without an elevator. I'm here to tell you, now that all's good again, that was not fun. There's a lot more to this story. I got extremely sick for at least three months. Everything's looking up now, but you know, that's how easy stories can be. And this story can really easily link to anything I do, because if I we wolf this into a bit of a longer story, I'm talking about LinkedIn training. I can make it relatable to anything to do with my work. Now, what I want to show you today is if you can't think of story, how to quite easily create a big fold of stories that you can use and how you can use them in your business. So you start off with creating a timeline where you get 10 year brackets. I stopped at 50 here. Um, I'm over 50, but <laughs> it wouldn't fit nicely on the screen if I had more than five items. So you divide your life in chunks of 10 years. And for every 10 years, for every decade, you think of some, whatever comes to mind. And I'd be amazed how many things do come to mind that you didn't think of before. Then you think about the key themes in your work, the things that you need to be known for, the things you want people to think when they think of that, you want them to think of you. And you sort those topics for stories into where they might best fit. After you've done that, it's pretty much creating a content plan. But the fun thing is, when you think of where you want your business to focus each month, you can think how to do this through articles, posts, videos, or whatever. And then you have all these stories that you can quite easily use in all these things. So I thought that was pretty neat. I didn't come up with that myself. I heard this exercise on a podcast, whether it's social selling or relationship building or whatever you want to call it. There's this quote that many people use and it goes, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. And I've used this quote a lot of times as well. Now, one day when I used it on LinkedIn, I actually did this ad mention thing to the author, Bob Burke. And he did two things, or three. First one was he put a very nice comment on my post, also mentioning the co-author of the book, because a lot of people don't realize they're still from writing that book. The other thing is he connected to me. And then in private message, he said to me, well, the actual quote is, all things being equal, people do business they know, like, and trust. Now, that is something that I've always been saying without using those words. If objectively there's no difference between you and the next service provider, clients are going to hire you because they relate to you the most. And stories do just that. They make you relatable. Another quote that I use a lot is by one of my heroes, Maya Angelou. And she said, among other things, People won't remember what you said or what you did. They remember how you made them feel. Now, I wasn't able to reach out to Maya Angelou because um, unfortunately she passed away. But I did get to um, hear her live, like in real life, not on TV. This was in the 1993. Um, inauguration, US presidential inauguration, and I was there. I was living in Washington DC at the time. I was there at the inauguration. All this presidential stuff didn't impress me all that much. To hear Maya Angelou, that was such a memorable moment in my life. And the thing is, you know, when we when we bring this back to 
how you do your content marketing. Oh, there's the other word I was looking for. Content marketing, social selling, relationship building. It doesn't matter. But people remember how you make them feel. And just rattling off a lot of facts will bore most people. But that's another good reason to incorporate storytelling into your LinkedIn presence. You've got the little exercise there and it's a lot easier than you think. So I'd say go and do it.